Hey there, folks. Wacky Weatherman. Happy Sunday. Um, so we got a we got some major wind happening. And let me put the uh, let me put this let me put this hook back up. Let me hook this back up. So so we don't fly away anywhere. All right, there we go. Got him. Whether or not he'll stay, I don't know. <laughs> All right, y'all. There we go. Okay, so. Um, but, man, that wind has been, man, that wind has been really been getting, getting it. It's been getting it today. Look at here, it's the blue sky. Okay. So, yeah, I'm using the, iPhone, the new one. Um, but James, my man, you just you you would just have to just look through this screen yourself. This is an incredible screen, the Super AMOLED, that LED AMOLED the screen display. Oh, it's oh man, it's amazing. It really is. Ah. Uh, so, but we're supposed to be getting some storms this week. So this is our new thing here. We're going to be supposed to be. Hope, hopefully, we'll we'll see something. There's some clouds back in there, as y'all can see. <sighs> Mikey Weatherman. But yeah, once you look through this screen here, uh, it's it's something. Once you see the once you look through the screen of one of these iPhone 13s, man, you'll be it'll be like how'd you ever get, get by without one of these. Like I said, I can only, I can't zoom in very much, but that's about, that's about all I can zoom in. That's not a very big zoom, but it's big enough. But we got wide angle lens. Um, so it's not doing anything right now. We'll come back out here in a little bit and we'll just see what happens. It's been a couple of days, I know, but it's just, it's just been doing the same thing, man. It's not really been doing anything that you guys have not seen before. So I just don't want to keep boring y'all with that. It is not doing anything. I want to be able to see, be able to show y'all something of what it's going to be doing. Um, like I said, it's just incredible what this thing looks like. And you can really see the true, the true blue in this. Let's listen to that wind for a minute. It's going to have another gust here coming up, y'all. Just listen to it. It's going to be blowing in a storm, rain. It's not bad outside. It's about almost 70, but it's just pretty, uh, it's pretty windy out today. So. Next, I think the kids have got spring break this week. So that'll be cool, but yeah, it's not, uh, like I said, just listen to this wind here for a minute, y'all. There's Mr. Sun. Listen to that, y'all. That's incredible. I don't like a windy day. You got the wind all around you, blowing all, all whichever direction. <laughs> you got him blowing all over the place, y'all. comes a big gust. Comes a big old gust of wind. But 
that's all. Oh, what that needs to be. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Strong. Like I said, it ain't doing. If we get back here, get back here, we can. There we go. We can shelter ourselves from from that for a while. <laughs> well, every little bit we can. Now you guys will be able to see it. I'm right up against the uh, storage building. I'm on the west side of the storage building. Okay, because down, because right there is where we usually go for the. But like I said, it's just not doing anything right now. But what I'll do is uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Wacky weatherman, your old buddy Gerald here. Y'all be groovy. Enjoy yourselves, man. Um, and uh, you guys just to have a you guys just have a good time, man, huh? And uh, listen to that. Seems like when you get a wind like this, looks like you're going to get some bad storms. So tomorrow we got to go to B Paducah and we'll take you all through that whole thing. Tomorrow we may leave early in the morning because it's really windy right now. I really don't think I want to. I really don't think I want to get out in this wind. So we may leave early in the morning to go over there. So I might just. Yeah, I might just. I might just leave early in the morning. I tell you what. Let me have that. Keep that bucket, keep that bucket in there. In the shed, and I don't want that thing to be. So I'll tell you what. Let me sit this bucket in here. <laughs> All right, y'all, hang on. Just an L sec, just an L second. I'll uh, put this in there. But like I said, we probably we might not leave till in the morning because it's really going to be. I really don't want to. I don't think I really want to get out in this mess today. So we can leave in the morning. Get up early in the morning, go to bed early. I'm gonna take y'all with us. I'm gonna take y'all with us on this adventure. Well we're going to we're going to my place first. We're uh we're gonna go to Dongola first. Get the more in here. There we go. Alright. There we are, y'all like that there's my key all right so um so that's it y'all ain't nothing else i'm gonna go ahead and go on up in here there ain't nothing out there ain't nothing out here this wind even though even though i'm full even though i'm full of hot air anyway <laughs> you know there's all kind of wind, but hell, I'm full of hot air anyway, so it don't matter. <laughs> you know, I tell you about that, y'all, man. So, um, yeep, bam. So, but anyway, James, my man, look at that. That's just the blue up there from the from the uh, from that. Um, so yeah, it's really it's uh, it's crazy. Like I said, um. But anyway, y'all, I think I guess I accidentally turned the thing. Yep. So that's it, y'all. Wacky weather, man. Um, April 10th, 2022. All right. So y'all be groovy. Y'all be wacky, groovy, wacky man, wacky weather, man. Of course, that's who I am. That is who I am. Ain't nobody else. But of course, all my wacky weather freaks. Um... Yeah, that's it. Anyway, I'm not going to take up any more y'all's time. I'll see you here and uh, give it a little bit. All right. So, Wacky Weather Man, April 10th, 2022, Maine. All righty, folks. Wacky Weather Man. Yep, it's still windy. The wind is still raging. It's been a little while. Y'all can see. Y'all can see. Windy, 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 windy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Like I said... Um, like I said, man, it's not warm at all. It's not cold at all. It's heck, probably about 70 degrees outside. But it's, uh, it's like I said, it's been a while. Uh, almost, 
Look, it's in the four o'clock hour. Something like that. But anyway, that is it. But uh, there's no need of going down there. It's just still windy as all get out. And there's no need of going through that. We've done been out there, but I'll let that door stay open. Let it do its thing. But anyway, y'all, wacky with the man. Mm, April 10th, 2022, Wacky Weatherman. Um, we'll just see what happens. We'll, we'll uh, catch the... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll catch the weather here in a little bit. And uh, we'll just see what's going on with it. And uh, then we'll come back out here. All right. So, yep, that's about that's about all there is to it, y'all. We'll turn it back on here in a little bit. We'll, we'll watch the weather and see. All right, folks, Wacky Weatherman, here we are. We're going to get to check the weather out here in a minute. There's a lot of details still to be ironed out with... What the heck? ...ability and the timing. But as of right okay. now, what you need to know is Wednesday late afternoon, Wednesday evening, significant severe weather is possible. We'll talk about that more this evening. I'll do a special Facebook Live, take some of your questions, go into some more of the science. We'll have a new update on Wednesday tonight at 10. We'll get some new computer model data in, and I'll talk about that more specifically. But tornadoes, possibly some strong ones and damaging Ooh. winds are possible. Tell them we possibly got tornadoes Wednesday. So... Unfortunately, it looks like we could have more rain or storms for Easter Sunday. All right, Joe. Former Marshall County track standout Sophie Galloway wrote her name in the Kentucky... So, um, we're talking to our friend Glenn. Purchase area down in the West Tennessee. I think that's all I'm going to get. Purchase area down in the West Tennessee. Yeah, that's all we're going to get. To 10, they should clear our area, and then things will clear out heading into Tuesday. Let's fast forward to Wednesday. The yeah, I want to see this again. High. They're on the high end of the scale. Yeah. This is going to be a pretty potent cold front that comes in from the West. So, this is what we've been waiting for, y'all. This is what we're going to be waiting for, and we're going to go out there here in a little bit, and we're going to check it out. There's a lot of details still to be ironed out with the storm mode, the instability, and the timing. But as of right now, what you need to know is Wednesday late afternoon, Wednesday evening, significant severe weather is possible. We'll talk about that more this evening. I'll do a special Facebook Live, take some of your questions, go into some more of the science. We'll have a new update on Wednesday tonight at 10. We'll get some new computer model data in, and I'll talk about okay. that specifically. Wednesday but tornadoes, possibly yep. some strong ones, and damaging winds are possible. Yep, damaging winds. and Cooler winds. on Thursday, and then unfortunately, it looks like we could have more rain or storms for Easter Sunday. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all when we get outside, all right? So hold on. All righty, folks. It's after the 5.30-ish. Uh, PM deal there and we're gonna take a look around baby <laughs> and y'all can see it ain't doing anything wind's still blowing though wind is still blowing and it's clear clear as a bell yep it's clear it's just that wind is still blowing there's Mr. Sun over there yeah James is my man you'd have to look you would have to look through this iPhone screen yourself. You'd have to just look at it and just see. It's just it's incredible. It's amazing. Um, get behind this dang building. <clears throat> there we go. Now we got, yeah, like I said, there's Mr. Sun over there. Like I said, I don't have much uh, zoom in capability, but that's right. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need much zoom on this. I don't need much zoom on this uh, on this app home. <laughs> um, there's Mr. Sun. Anyway, folks. Um, anyway, y'all, man. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? Um, so we're gonna we're just gonna see what happens tomorrow. Like I said, we caught the tail end of the weather there, but we'll we'll catch it again. Like I said, it's not really anything happening over here. Nothing. Ain't, there's nothing happening. Nothing is going on. It's the same. It's the same old thing. What it what it's been. It's all it is. Nothing. So no weather yet. But like I said, Wednesday it may be on. Like a it may be on, boy. So we'll be out here. We'll be right here to to, uh, to film it. <laughs> we'll be out here boy and we'll film it and uh 
<clears throat> so, yep, that's right. Um, but other than that, there's nothing else, man. It's just boring. So we'll go back in, I guess, and uh, we'll uh, wait around. Um, I actually about got a blue. Yeah, it's like a teal blue. It's almost color of the Sierra blue of the of that iPhone, almost. So I got it in a nice one of them Defender cases. So it's it's smoking. It's ready. Um, so anyway, y'all, wacky weatherman here, your old buddy Gerald. I've heck, let's turn this back on a little, little, little bit and see what happens. But right now, <clears throat> it is not doing anything. As of right now, it's just boring and stupid. <clears throat> but that's what you get. So, <laughs> kids are really in. They're really enjoying playing down there. Anyway, y'all, Wacky Weather Man here, your old buddy Gerald. We'll, uh, we'll turn it off here, and uh, we'll turn it back on here in a little bit, all right? All right, y'all. Hey, y'all, Wacky Weather Man. Here we go now. It's after 10 o'clock. two weather authority alerts we've officially issued for this week. That means that you need to be following the weather, have the WPSD radar app on your phone, and multiple ways to get alerts. We've stressed that to you many times before. All right. Weather radio. Multiple apps, your phone, your tablet, all that sort of stuff. So through tonight, it's quiet the next few hours. Tomorrow, when you leave the house, grab an umbrella and grab a rain jacket. It's not going to rain every minute of the day for you tomorrow, but there's a chance, a high chance, 80, 90% of scattered thunder showers passing by at pretty much every hour. All right, y'all. Excuse me. During the day. Here's 8, 9, 10, 11. Notice by 1 p.m. We just went through the morning. Waves of showers waves of storms when it rains it pours tomorrow some lightning and thunder some gusty winds up until this point one o'clock tomorrow there's really no severe threat what's going to happen tomorrow late afternoon and evening cold front's going to come down from the north you clearly see that from about jonesboro perigold up to the boot heel in southern illinois this is going to move south and that'll be the opportunity for a few severe warnings mainly large hail I do think there's a chance a few towns could get golf ball sized hail or larger in Ooh. one of these stronger updrafts that form on Like I said, y'all, this is what this we've been waiting for today. Tomorrow, See what this looks like. Moving on south. Something else to watch, too, is do we get any supercells that form ahead of this line that come at us from the south out of Arkansas? This model I just showed you doesn't depict that, but if you caught our Facebook Live earlier, I explained that to you. That's a whole other wrinkle in the forecast we'll be watching is that 4, 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow, 7 o'clock, do we get any super sales into the Boot Heel or West Tennessee? Those could produce very large hail and maybe a tornado, but that's a little less certain at this point. This is more certain, though. This line of storms coming through 8, 9, 10 p.m. Monday. By about midnight to 1 a.m. Tuesday, that should be out of here. Tuesday is going to be largely a quiet day in terms of storms. Temperatures will start in the 50s and we will really race upward as we have what's called warm advection take place. This will set the stage, so to speak, for a much higher threat of severe weather on Wednesday. We clear out by Tuesday afternoon. Here's three. Okay. Temperatures rocket all the way up into the upper 70s, maybe the low 80s. We're not going to get storms on Tuesday, and the reason why is the atmosphere is capped. There's a lid figuratively at about 10,000 feet. It's called an elevated mixed layer. It's going to prevent storms from forming, which is a good thing because the atmosphere is actually pretty ripe for storms on Tuesday. So that lid over the atmosphere Tuesday will protect us from any storm threat as well Tuesday afternoon. So in terms of tomorrow, 3 to 11, the severe threat, repeated rounds of heavy rain, flash flooding is a concern tomorrow. Lots of elevated instability, I think hail is primarily the concern okay so broke it down a little further for you as we head through the day again rain and hail main concerns lower end threat of wind or a tornado as we head through the day tomorrow here's how it looks zoomed out here's a different computer model i want to show this to you here real quick because disregard this over here notice by five o'clock ready to watch how mm. this explodes six right here eight o'clock in western arkansas tracking quickly to the northeast I know it might not seem like a lot to you, but it's something to watch. We'll be watching that for you. It's a different wrinkle of the forecast tomorrow evening. See if one of those storms forms and moves in from the south ahead of that line. So we discussed tomorrow and Tuesday, now about Wednesday. 
Wednesday has the potential to be one of those days. One of those days in severe weather. Now, there's a lot of things we got to figure out before that's going to happen. Do we get storms and rain in the morning that zap all the energy out and inhibit the cold front late in the day? That could happen. A lot of the guidance tonight says, you know what? There may be storms in the morning Wednesday, but it won't matter because the ingredients coming in from the south in the afternoon are so high, it'll trump that effect. Either way, the potential, again, what I want you to know tonight is the potential is there for something quite significant, tornadoes and damaging winds Wednesday evening. But we're not sure yet that's going to happen. So check back with us tomorrow. Once we get through tomorrow's events, we'll start hammering home the details about Wednesday. All righty, folks. Your old buddy Gerald, Wacky Weatherman. We will end it, and I'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll just see what happens. All right, you guys have a groovy night, and there's my dish remote. Okay. And so uh, that's all that. All right, you guys, Wacky Weatherman. Um, thanks for hanging out here with me today. Um, <coughs> the uh it is april 10th 2022 and wacky weather man here um i'll see you guys in the next uh see you guys tomorrow all right see you guys in the morning y'all be groovy y'all like share subscribe and comment to wacky weather man here i'm gonna take some meds i'm gonna take some i'm gonna take some stuff and uh I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. Later, folks.